Okay, so now we're going to talk about widgets, and this is a great way to customize the look of the blog and the functionality of the blog. And basically, under appearance, we go to widgets and click on that, and now we're on this page. And again, I have the standard theme on my blog right now, so I've got some standard widgets that come with the theme. Otherwise, you're going to have all these other uh, widgets in here that come with the installation of the blog. Um, if you were to install a Genesis theme, we're going to have a bunch of different uh, Genesis widgets that come with it as well, which is also cool. Inactive widgets. Okay, so when, let's just go ahead and install a widget real quick and just I'll show you what they do. So here's the sidebar. If I pull a widget into the sidebar, it's going to change the look of the sidebar. If I pull it into the header, it's going to change the header below a single post. Uh, footer left, footer center, footer right. Okay, these are all going to look different, the places you can pull widgets into, uh, depending on the theme that you're using. Okay, so this could look completely different for you if you're using a different theme. But, so let's just pull a text header, or I mean, sorry, a text widget under here, and I'm just holding down my mouse and scrolling. You can put it wherever you want, and then just let go. And I'm going to call this sample widget, all right? And the text widget are great because you can, if you were to uh, sign up for an affiliate program, let's say, and they give you an HTML code of uh, an advertisement that goes perfectly in your sidebar, you could just paste the code right in here. This will take regular text or uh, code. All right, I'm just going to put some regular text in there and click Save. And then I'm going to go up here and visit my site in a new tab to take a look. Okay, and then we'll just scroll down and we'll see that I've got a sample widget now with regular text. Okay, and that's that. Let's see if you want to get rid of it. Just go down to delete and click delete, which I do want to get rid of it. And then, you know, for this one you could do uh, like footer center. I could put Let's see, all my pages into the footer center, call it pages, and click save, and then just take a look at what it looks like now. Uh, go ahead and refresh that. All right, so we go all the way down to the bottom of my blog, and we can check now it's pages, and sure enough, I put that in the footer center, but it's showing up in the footer left. Um, maybe if I, I don't have anything in the footer left, or footer right, so maybe if I put something in the footer left, it would actually show up in the center. But anyway, um, that's kind of why I'm getting rid of this theme, because of little quirks like that. But um, that's basically what widgets do, and the way you get more widgets that do certain things is you can just download a plugin. Okay, so like for this inactive widget I have right here, simple social icons. This is one of those plug. This is one of those uh, sidebar things that'll show maybe my, my YouTube icon and then Facebook icon and then Twitter icon and I can just go within the settings of this and uh, you know attach my certain links and then I just go ahead and pull this over into the sidebar and it'll show the, the social icon. So this is the, the reason why I have this widget, the simple social icons widget, is because I downloaded the plugin that shows that widget. So that's, uh, you can look through the plugins to get cool widgets that do all sorts of different things and then just use them on the widgets page here. Okay, so that's a, a very integral part of customizing the blog. There's so many things you can do and um, just by using widgets.